Ray Ray. What's up? Right where I left you yesterday afternoon. <laughs> it's like you didn't yeah. move all night. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> Apologies. Yeah. Hello. Hey, hey. Oh no. Hey, have you had a shingle? What is this? Uh, <laughs> well, this is uh, our brainstorming about the steps. It's pretty scary, isn't it? Now, it's ridiculous because we're only like a foot off the ground, but that's the problem. Foot's too much. We're so close, it's, it's too much, and, and yet, ah. Uh, all right, mm. so how, what time is it? <laughs> Whatever method you're building stairs with here, I've never seen before. I can say I'm not real happy about it. I, I was actually just thinking this is falling into more like a landscaping kind of vibe right now. Um, <laughs> and, and we've been using words more related to landscaping than house building. I think it's perfect. Okay, so like, actually, I think it's gonna look good. Ouch, my toes! I was getting close. <laughs> you got your steel toe on today? No. Didn't look like it. <laughs> I'd feel really stupid if I hit my own toe with that compactor. I can tell you that I do feel stupid because <laughs> I just did that. I know. <laughs> and what a surprise it was, a painful one. You know, I thought I was gonna hit your toe and I would have felt bad if I hit your toe. But when I hit my own toe, I just felt stupid. <laughs> <laughs> I just felt stupid and pain. Uh, I'm using some scrap pieces of six by six, which is our foundation of the stairway, and just stacking them up to see if I'm getting close to my line. Right now, it's a little low. You can see about an inch or so. And I'm gonna add a little bit more gravel here, getting it really close before I pick up that big, heavy, actual step and try to place it here. I wanna move that thing as little as possible. So there's a lot of things we could say about what we're doing here. And one thing I'll say is that we've never done this before. And I don't know why, but I think it's gonna be pretty great. The six by sixes are ground contact rated, but they're not touching the ground. They're touching gravel, which is way different because gravel doesn't hold water. Water actually goes right through it. There you go. And uh, so I have complete confidence that these will last a really long time. And there's no concrete work involved in this, which makes it a lot cheaper and a lot faster. We don't have to pour footings and then come back the next day uh, when those are cured and build it. So those were the reasons we kind of selected this type of thing. Jamie and Arlo like thought about it forever though. I mean, it was like a long conversation. I'm not gonna say how long. I believe Ray's getting the water out of this roller. Yeah. Is that right? I thought I got it all out and then I started to paint with it. Oh, is it just running down the wall? Yeah, I had to grab a rag and just like Oh man, I hate I missed all that, sorry. Yeah. My bad, all right, see ya. I hope you guys, I was hoping you guys wouldn't catch me doing this. <laughs> We are on to the front steps now, or front step, I'll say. We're gonna do one giant 16 foot long step. It's gonna be for both units. And we're gonna start by putting this band on. I've got several more loads of gravel up here. We're just gonna do a compacted gravel foundation for this one step like we did in the back. And that may sound like kind of a weird thing again, but 
There are even allowances in the code book for doing a gravel foundation and a wood foundation for the entire house. Um, so this is just one step and I think it's gonna hold up great. If you didn't know it, uh, gravel, when you dump it out on the ground is like 99% compacted right there. So if you tamp it after that, it won't settle like dirt. It's 100%. Look at Jamie go in the rain. He doesn't care. What rain? Was it raining? Yeah. <laughs> I didn't even notice. This is the worst possible day to do this. Yo, we need more gravel. Uh, we need a little less rain. <laughs> We're all out of gravel. Alrighty, it's all gone. We need another <laughs> truckload of gravel. You see no more gravel to be getting gotten. Yeah. Now that we have all these chunks on here with like a thousand screws, we're gonna put the fascia board to the front, which is also ground contact pressure treated six by six. We should put this and I think we're gonna run a bunch of these through it into there. Didn't love it, dude. Battery. Something was like skipping gears that or something. Sound good. Mm. You know, like if you miss a gear in your truck and it. We're gonna swap out for the flex turbo with the. Uh -oh. <laughs> biggie, biggie, biggie. <laughs> Can't you see? Yeah. So um, everything's dying. That should real do it. battery. All right. Hold your ears. Uh, <laughs> You may back it out of us and then yeah, go yeah. again. I think, I, right. I think you'll get it with that one. I hope so. Ray, what do you think of this? Ray? Mm, it's hard to hold the drill. Like, uh, Whoa, that, that didn't right. sound good. It's really basic. What? Yeah. I hope that right. was a clutch. Wow, that thing was definitely stuck. Wow. Ooh. No problem. That did it. I mean, <laughs> that did the job. back on site it's about time to wrap up we have a few details to take care of one of which is check out my orange shirt <laughs> you're glowing. can you see i actually the camera the whole camera is orange looking um so all right, that's, that's continue fine. all right <laughs> uh true work uh true work. Hey, hey. uh we're gonna build some closet shelves for like towels and blankets all right so i want them to be a little deeper than 12 inches so our standard shelving is not deep enough now i was gonna go to the store and get deeper ones like this if they have them do they have them i don't know i don't know and i won't know until i go there so i decided not to go there because i realized we had six stair treads left over okay and they are going to be nice and strong because they're an inch thick solid wood the width of these closets is like 30 inches so i was actually worried that this three-quarter material mm, my... which is not solid wood that yeah it could potentially sag and i hate saggy shelves <laughs> so I decided the oak will be good. Now we just have he to- actually made Arlo chuckle right there. <laughs> <laughs> we have to add a six inch rip in behind the 12 inch wide tread, yeah. which I went to the shop and processed a little bit of material down to make those extensions because I didn't have enough to rip into yeah. that material. So instead of returning the treads, mm -hmm. we're gonna use them. They're gonna make beautiful shelves. Arlo's doing all the work here and we're getting ready to install them. He's gonna pre-finish them. Mm. Pretty smart, really. This video is brought to you by Howl's Pro and they are a all-in-one business solution for builders, contractors, remodelers, and designers. Their software is web-based so you can use it on your desktop, your laptop, your tablet, and your smartphone. Howl's Pro has tons of great features to help your business run better, making it smoother, more organized, less busy work. 
better communication and more professionalism towards your client and also your subcontractors that you're working with. And today we're gonna to talk about the scheduling tool. You can start your schedule simply by clicking on the calendar on your start date on your project and adding an item. Then you can drag out exactly how far that part of the project is gonna take. Then you can continue adding items by clicking the calendar underneath the preceding item. You can also group items together into phases for your project. And for any of these items, you can add team members and assign tasks. This allows people to be notified automatically when their task comes up so you don't have to be picking up the phone and calling a bunch of people every day. I really like how you can do item dependencies, meaning that you link two things together, and if one isn't finished, the other can't start. In the example here, the plumbing rough-in can't start till the electrical rough-in is done, so if that takes longer, it slides down, but all of the other things that are dependent automatically slide with it, so nobody gets overlapped accidentally. Again, the scheduling tool is great, and it's just one of the many tools offered by House Pro. So if you want to try House Pro for yourself, just click the link down in our video description. It'll take you where you need to go. There's also a phone number if you'd prefer that. Thank you, House Pro, for sponsoring our video. Let's get back to work. I'm just going to hold this thing in here to see how high we want it. Probably. I would say about three inches off the counter is a good height. She wants them a little low because the people renting this, at least for now, are not super tall. And I'm not either. I mean, I am. I'm six foot five. Nine. Nine. We're going to use these really crappy drywall anchors. Um, I don't think this is going to be any trouble holding this mirror. It's just a couple pounds. I wouldn't do this for like a towel bar or something where people could pull on it, but. This is the scariest thing I've done on this entire job mm. is to peck these. We could take the mirror down, but that would be take some time oh maybe we should i did the other one though with a hammer without hitting the glass oh my gosh i feel like i gotta do it to prove myself ah shit <laughs> it looks like i'm just hitting the mirror okay perfection mm -hmm. that was scary all right ray you can breathe now Idiot Carpenter wears GoPro while installing mirrors. That's the, that's gonna be the title of the video, I think. Uh, Jamie and Jono are installing these safety latches, which are required by code here, and they allow the windows on the upper floor to only open four inches, which is your gap for any sort of railing or whatever. What else can you tell me? Oh, these latches are a little difficult to put in. I think I see you has got a dentist pick installing the back part here. Yeah, every good carpenter's got a dentist pick in the truck for <laughs> hygiene and other. Yep. And uh, he's going to so do that. Otherwise, these long screws they provided would go right through. I think that's for wood assembly. Yeah, and mess something up. All right. Yep. I can tell you they come with spacers, and we're putting what I believe is the maximum amount, which is three, one, two, three spacers so you can adjust the depth which is necessary and it, I, it's not very easy to hold all this together and uh, have him hold the thing let's see i got to put in the bottom screw and all then, right i'll check back uh, in an hour this and <laughs> that <laughs> 10, 10 more minutes will be done okay okay now the, it's not in there yet for me jono here we go okay see and then oh my gosh okay i'm this gonna get terrible. this lined up here uh, i think it seems like they snapped together there we go Kind of snap together, kind mm. of not. Yep. Nope. Mm. Nope. I'm in your way. Nope. It's like that game where you there's like a buzzer and yeah. operation. Oh, yeah. Operation. It's like that. Wow, I'm glad I'm not doing this. Go fish. It's like it's more like go fish. Yeah. It's more like go home. If you're wondering, this does take this window from being an egress window to not being an egress window because it'll only open that far, but you can disable these really quickly and easily. So the homeowner is supposed to be trained and anybody in the house, even like 
kids how to use these. Six years and older. Yep, so show me how to do it. Okay, it's very simple. Um, you can see right now, when it's in its safety mode, I'll call it, the window will come up and hit, and it, it can't go past that. Yep. Now you press this one time. Oh, I guess it can't be engaged. Press that, one click, and now it's got a really tapered part that it can slide past. Oh, wow. It's very, you, you don't even feel it. It's effortless. Now, when you push it back down, it will reset itself to the safety mode. Yep. And that's it, that's all there is to it. Okay. And there will be one on both sides. I guess there has to be one on both sides. Oh, I don't know. You might want to check. Well, I already drilled it, so there's- I bet it the, only has to be one. Well, they come in pairs. We're hanging our third mirror and I just got done freaking out because I drilled into this wall and then I was looking really close at the dust and I see like blue shavings in it. And you know what's blue? Water lines. We finally figured out though that this drywall is the blue board that has the blue paper on it. And that's what it was. But for a second I was like, oh, I just drilled through the water line. <laughs> Disaster averted. I was gonna have you be the one to call Aaron. Tell oh, them. really? Yeah. Everything's yep. my fault. Huh? Yeah. Hey, I just drilled through your water line. This is Ray. Yeah. You got really quiet there for a while. I had to come over here and be yeah, like, Yeah, I was. What's, I was uh, like, what's going on? Ray came in and I was like, I was like, look at that. I was like this. <laughs> so just staring at that and like, hmm. Ooh, it's tight in there, Arlo. It's tight. Yeah. So you can see All we right. just got some oak cleats on each side, nailed to the studs through the drywall. And um, Arlo's gonna take a shower now. <laughs> Lex, Lex held on. Oh, they're Lex held and shot on. And uh, yeah, that's the other good side. Idea. The other side's done. If oh, uh, I'll walk over there and yeah. show your work off. Oh yeah. Get ready to see some crickets. Here we go. Wow. It's like a hundred crickets if you couldn't see it. Arlo's getting the final grading out on the yard. It's dragging wood all over it. One more lap, Arlo. <laughs> Someone is gonna use these pieces we've been using to walk on and not get muddy for something productive. They're not going to the dump. You're gonna have to lift this other side. Okay. I put this in here like uh, Chinese handcuffs, you know, go on your fingers. Yeah, you'll never get it. The harder you there. pull, the harder it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you need a sawzall to get this off of here. There you go. There it is. Okay. All right, watch the paint. Oop. Oh. You're still in the truck now. I told you. I scratched my rack. Oh. Oh. <laughs> I wasn't lying. <laughs> oh, Perfect. Gosh. See, you didn't need a strap. <laughs> wow, that was so easy. I am back at the job and it's looking amazingly done. Look at this. Raised mop in the last bit of the floor. Closets touched up. Sorry, Ray. I'm like exactly in the one spot you need. Look at this. John is putting on handles. Clean, clean, clean. Clean for the mud I just got on it. And uh, a couple things to pick up in here. Wow, look at my hat. Ah! Yo, Jamie. Yo. What are we doing here? There's nothing to do. Let's go, let's get I out of mean, here before somebody dreams something up. I think we should leave. Yeah. So. There's no food in the fridge. 
There's, there's, there's nowhere to sit. There's no couches and TVs or nothing there's, to watch Perkins Builder videos on. There's gluten, gluten and free uh, mac and cheese over there. And I think we're kind of done, is what I'm saying. I think yeah, this is I totally agree. done. That's a wrap. Okay. That is a wrap. Um, I think that key is to this door. Okay. <laughs> That is a wrap on our duplex build. Thank you so much for watching our video. And if you watched the entire series, thank you so much. And if you're not aware, there's a playlist on our YouTube channel that's called uh, Construction of a Duplex, I believe. It is about 32 videos and it takes you through the whole process. And that's generally what we do on our channel is follow the progress of our builds and show you how we did it. If you're wondering, we already have started a new project. We've been knocking down trees with an excavator clearing property. We got to dig footings by the end of the week and we're building a cool modern mountain house for a friend of the family, Ramel. And so that's gonna be next. It's already started and I think Sunday will be the first video. It's gonna be awesome. So thank you again for watching. And if you got an extra minute, just stay tuned. We're gonna show you some of the stuff we have for sale on our perkinsdeals.com website that you might enjoy. We got a few items from the Perkins Deals warehouse sent down so I could show them to you, show you what we got on there. And these are Amazon basics like plumbing fixtures. So they were available on Amazon, but now you can get them through us way cheaper. This is a modern faucet, it's 39 bucks. It was 59 on Amazon, which you know Amazon's already about the lowest price you can get. So let's pull it out, here's what you get. Heavy duty, all metal, modern looking faucet, wow. single lever. Can I have that one? Yeah, you can have it. Plus you get the uh, drain kit right there. And so All this right, one box number two. is just a rain shower head. And this thing is 1850 and it was 30 on Amazon. Okay, I need a rain shower head. So brush nickel, just screws right on. Wow. Really nice and modern, really thin actually. Can so, I have that? Yes, you can have it Okay, all. I actually really need that. Okay, I'm okay. not even joking. That one's yours too? Okay. All right. All right, good. And then last, a double handle, what is that, a four inch or uh, uh, ooh, three? I don't know what they call that. This is yeah. the smaller hole offset for sinks. Yes. Uh, $44 and it was, I wrote it down, 59 on Amazon. So also comes with the drain kit as well. So that's brush I mean, nickel. I couldn't so. make that for $44. <laughs> For you. So, so yeah, we got all kinds of stuff on there. Um, not just plumbing stuff, but go check it out. PerkinsDeals.com. There you go, Jamie. Have it. All right. Hey, sweet. <laughs> it's a good day for me. Yeah.